Well, here's the track on where the closest cloud decks are here to Grand Rapids and the northern lower Michigan one into the UP is still about 220 miles away. While the one that's been off to our south here since yesterday is almost 300 miles away. So we are in the sweet spot here with high pressure right overhead here in Lake uh, West Michigan as it continues to track to the east. We're going to enjoy full sunshine here in store today. Humidity is still going to be low as well under the full sunshine, so it's going to be a pleasant mid 80s for us. Clouds will increase Sunday morning. Humidity will also build in as well. That'll bring us a chance for a light shower come Sunday evening. It's not looking overly significant though with any rain chances. Sunday, I think Monday or Tuesday will be our better chance for any significant rain. So here's our future track. We we're in the sweet spot. All the clouds track to the north of us or to the south for the next 24 hours. Then the cloud cover starts to increase come Sunday morning. I think through the middle of the day Sunday is when a lot of that moisture is going to fizzle out and we'll get a secondary push though in the evening. That'll bring us our rain chance I think after 3 p.m. here in West Michigan. No rain's gonna be heavy, no rain's gonna be widespread, just a few scattered showers. And into Monday morning, it might be more of the same, but we do see that mid-afternoon instability pop-up development. I think we're gonna see a lot of those inland off of Lake Michigan as we head through Monday afternoon. Here's South Haven this morning. We're still 40 minutes away from sunrise, but we're gonna have a great view of it. Uh, all the cameras are on cue, ready to show you those morning sunrises. Grand Rapids starting to see some early signs of light, but we're losing two minutes of daylight a day. So it's kind of slowly but surely waking up here. 60 degrees under clear skies, visibility a full 10 miles, dew point just 56 degrees right now. So the conditions are pleasant with a very light wind. Along the lakeshore, the wind is out of the south southeast, just three to five miles per hour. The longer we stay with that wind, the longer it's going to take for these water temperatures to try and rebound because Lake Michigan water temps currently sitting in the upper 50s near 60. Not, not great swimming conditions as it stands. 54 in Allegan, 56 in Hastings, 62 in Muskegon, but zoom out, a lot of 70s currently in Minnesota and the Dakotas. The warmest air is going to go over us and then it's going to start to come crashing back down. So it's going to take another two days or so until that warm air really settles in. But by tomorrow, we'll notice the humidity difference and highs reach the upper 80s. I think we're going to run the chance throughout the week of an isolated day, maybe getting near 90. It's just going to depend on how all the instability stacks up with any rain chances associated with the warmth. So here's our temperature trend, and it's all in the mid to upper 80s Wednesday and Friday for now forecast to be 88. Again, I wouldn't be surprised if maybe down near Kalamazoo we get that run near 90. It has been over five weeks since we've seen our last 90 degree day and any of these rain chances are going to be uh, a little bit of an inhibitor of limiting that rain. So Monday evening looks like those pop up showers will be around Tuesday more scattered in nature, but over the state may be filling in and then Wednesday isolated Thursday isolated. I think we'll have another decent chance come Friday.